Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. It's a lot of craft supplies for DIY. Oh, sorry. That's Alex. He hears me talking to myself. Hi buddy. Uh, DIYs that I have coming up on how I'm going to decorate some rustic Easter eggs in different sizes and Alex, hey buddy. Um, yeah, how I'm gonna decorate, I'm gonna do rustic, like it, um, a bird's nest, basically, is what I'm gonna make. But it has all different, that's Wellington, all different size Easter eggs done up in a different rustic way. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. Buddy, I need to get to work here. I have some tea in my Dunkin' Donuts mug from Georgia. It's chilly tonight, it's been a long day, so I'm having some sleepy time tea while I do this. Just got home from work, so let me put my tea down. And I will show you the things I bought and tell you what I think I'm gonna do with them. And I'm coming to you from my front window. Okay, I bought one more thing of this rope, of the nautical rope. Um, I love this whenever I buy it, see it, I buy it. Although I really need to do some math here. This is 13 feet. So I need to go to like the hardware store and see how much a big thing of this is. Cause I do use a fair amount of this. Um, so I'll take it with me and do some math and see what's my better bargain. But for right now I picked that up because I have to finish one item. I grabbed some of the floral moss in the bright green. Sorry, I have to have my ring light on today. In the bright green, it's just floral moss. Um, this is a lot because you fluff it up. So I needed some of that. I've got an Ikea bag over here. So as I show you from one side, I'm putting it in the bag. Oh, sorry, I'm blurry. So I can, um, is that better? There, so I can take it upstairs. I grabbed one more of these wreaths in the larger size because this might be the base of my nest. Or I also grabbed the, ro the what is this thing called? Why a willow wreath. And this might be the base of my nest. They're about the same size. It's gonna be a color thing and what I prefer is all there is to it. So I grabbed one of each, I'll use them both for something, but I grabbed the two while they had them and it was a decent circular and a shape to that. So I grabbed two of those for the base of my nest for my fake eggs. Um, Householdy items. I grabbed one of this size. I wish it would tell me. Maybe it does. It's, I want to say it's, it doesn't give me measurements. It's a 14 cup. Um, but I like these. I do a lot of keto baking and I like to have this size to put my treats in to put in my deep freezer out in the garage. So when I want to bring out a couple because I couldn't eat or I shouldn't eat a whole recipe of something. So I usually like to Tonight I have some um, chocolate chip bar cookies that I made yesterday that are keto. <laughs> Hi, Doves. And um, this will hold them perfectly. So for a dollar, I'll leave that down here. It's got to get laundered. And I grabbed some trash bags. I use these big, they're not the best quality, but I use them for kitty litter. So I get nine large trash bags. Um, I tried a different brand. And these feel a little heavier than the other ones that I bought, which is good. But again, all I'm doing is dumping the kitty litter into it. And today's Thursday, so it's kitty litter day, and I was out. So yeah, that's not too bad. I mean, I don't, it's not a lawn, it's not one of those heavy duty ones, but nine bags for a dollar, and all I'm doing is pulling kitty litter to throw out in the trash. So I grabbed that. And my stuff's all over the place here. I picked up one of these bottles. And I feel like I have one from last summer upstairs, but I wasn't sure and I wanted to grab it. These are great um, for drinking, obviously, on the go. They're not going to keep anything cool. And I can personalize them if I want. But this specific one I purchased, I am probably going to go camping this summer in July in Florida. Oh, my neighbor's home. Um... And this is air, you know, watertight, so I'm gonna put it, hold my heavy cream in my cooler for my coffee in the morning. And I'm gonna use that container. And it is BPA free. 
and these are fun colors different than they had last year this is I'm not sure if you can see but like a teal and I love these bottles they're great to hold things especially like in your fridge um, I know things come in but this is or come in their own packaging this is I think it's 32 ounces so what I do also with one that I have from my refrigerator here I think that's what that says 29 random it should be 32 anyway i take two of those like crystal lights dissolve it in a whole thing of water and then i just pour drinks off of that sometimes you know to mix it up anyway i got one of those that was a long story for a water bottle i found i picked up this scarf for saint patrick's day to wear to work i just like the colors in it and it doesn't say oh i'm saint patrick's day i'm gonna go get drunk but it has all the pretty colors of green and I think that'll look nice with a gray or a black sweater and just a cute little scarf to wear to work on St. Patrick's Day. I mean, there's lots of stuff you can do with these, including make wreaths, but I'm gonna wear it. It's a pretty color, I like it. And we need to have something, I mean, I'm sure I have green, I love green, but just in case. I picked up two Russell Stover chocolate Easter bunnies and these are I believe solid if I'm not mistaken but they're small this is just a little 1.3 ounce one for my niece and one for my nephew and but they're little because they're gonna get a lot of Easter stuff but I just want to get them a little bunny and I, I'm pretty certain these are solid milk chocolate bunnies yeah solid and they had um, lots of flavors like all the different varieties I just got milk chocolate for the kids and I say kids, but they're really not children. I mean, they're young, but they're not children. And on that same vein, I grabbed some Starburst jelly beans for both of their bags. And again, these are smaller packages. Um, 4.5 ounce, I think this is perfect for like a little Easter basket. It'll also fit in the very big bunnies that I got. So I grabbed each of them a Starburst jelly bean for them because who doesn't need jelly beans? It's Easter, right? So I got that. Um, back to crafting. I picked up for my nest. Everything is gonna be rustic farmhouse-ish, but these little tiny eggs are gonna be my little spark. I love a little spark of something. And these are small, and I'm gonna pull the little hangers off of them and just kind of put a few in the nest with the more earth tones that I have going on. You can also use these to hang on a tree or get like a, a branch from outside, stick it in a pot, and you can hang these on it. These are really cute. Um, they're called, just called foam eggs, but if you see, they do, they are to be hung on the tree. I don't personally have a tree, but I could make garland out of these too. So we'll see. And they're cute, and they come with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, 12 of the little mini eggs. So I grab those. I grabbed some of this Excelsior for the nest. I'm going to, my goal um, is to tuck it, a hot glue it and kind of tuck it in the little things here and wrap it around. So you still see this, but you're gonna see what looks like nesting materials. And again, I don't know which color combo I'm gonna go with, but this is the Excelsior that they had at my store so I bought it and I'm also going to use it on the bottom mixed in with some moss to put the eggs upon because you need something to put the eggs on right I picked up in the wedding section of all places these little tin buckets and there's three of them in here I, don't, I feel like these would be super cute with like an egg sitting on top of them maybe I don't know I grabbed them I don't need to do it for Easter. I could do something for summer. I could put a tea light in them. I mean, they're really cute. They're little favors, and they were three of them for a dollar, and they are 10. Oh, they're 10. So I thought they were cute, and they could be written on with like a Sharpie pen or whatever, but they're cute, and there's three for a dollar. So I grabbed those, thinking that would be something fun. Um, I also grabbed a sleeve of these. So I have large eggs and I have the small eggs, but I didn't have any medium eggs. And this is six pieces. I kind of like the shiny, although I'm gonna cover it up, but I'm hoping 
whatever the design that I'm covering these up with will the color will kind of show through but we'll see and I would say these need to be hot glued together because they're a mess Wait, there we go I will hot glue them together there and that one will get fixed so there's six of these large you know medium sized eggs you can use any size eggs you want these are the ones I chose this go round so I have three actually four size eggs to go in my nest um, and this is the other size egg that I got now I had two at home so I grabbed one more um, and these are cute just the way they are but I really wanted a more rustic look so I'm covering up all the sparkle. And I had two from last year, so I just needed one more because I like things in when I'm doing decor, like an odd number. Three of something is always visually appealing, apparently. And these were $1 piece because I have the Dollar Tree. Um, and I, I like the sparkle again, but Sally, it's gonna go away. It's okay though. Do I have any other crafting stuff? Oh, uh, yes. I picked up another 10 pack of these cups. I use them all the time to mix paint, glue, glitter, whatever I'm doing. And I've got a couple projects for this Easter egg that's going to require um, some Mod Podge and some diluted paint. So I grabbed another pack of those because I was out. And I think the rest of this is like food and household, which is really bizarre because I rarely buy food at the Dollar Tree. But first we'll do the householdy items. They have the new Bolero products in at my store. Um, I picked up some of the facial wipes. I really like these. And I will tell you, I have sensitive skin and they do not bother me. Um, this is watermelon mint and it just smells like summer. So I'll be saving that for summer. And then I got pineapple coconut lime face wipes. And they had the regular stuff, the oils and all of that, but I don't need all that but I like the face wipes. And the other scent that I picked up, and this is in the hand soap, is the Coconut Verbena. I like the shape of this. Everybody raves about it, so I thought I would try it in my powder room down here that I just redid. Oh, it smells nice. I think that'll be great for summer. Um, you know, in my guest bathroom down here, the one that people use when they come visit. And this, like I said, is a coconut verbena, and it's lovely. So I like, I bought that. Oh, that's staying downstairs. Uh, I picked up two, I think. Yeah, two bath bombs. I love me a bath bomb, and I love a nice hot bath with some Epsom salt for my eczema and my dry skin. And this is my formula. I'm going to tell you my secret. I use like two cups of Epsom salts. I have a pretty deep tub, but I use two cups of Epsom salts. I use one smelly good bath bomb. And then I use a hefty squirt of Aveeno, or store brand is fine, moisture bath. I put all that in my tub, let it all melt and marinate, and then I soak. And my skin feels so soft after. And it keeps my eczema at bay and my dry skin. Just going to tell you. Okay, sorry. I got the watermelon mint bath bomb. I like these. These are a nice size. And for a dollar, I don't feel like that's bad at all. And then I got the pineapple coconut lime. Because you put the lime in the coconut and drink it all down. So I grabbed these two. I have a fair amount in my basement still, I think, but I need to check. But I wanted, I really wanted this watermelon mint. Oh, it smells so good. So I grabbed those. These are going down. My, <laughs> this is how crazy my house is. I have four bathrooms. I have the one that I showed you for my powder room, so it's a half bath. Upstairs, there's two bedrooms. Each bedroom has their own bathroom. One has a walk-in shower, one has a bathtub, but it's a standard size bathtub. And then my basement, where my cuppy cake Sarah stays when she comes to visit, it's a guest room down there, but there's a huge bath, not a huge bathroom, a huge soaker tub. It's like thigh deep on me, but there's no jets, but it's a soaking tub, and that's where I take baths, because it's amazing. And so these things will go to the basement because that's where I keep the stuff. Like you care where I take a bath, but I'm just telling you anyway. And then the last few items I purchased are food related. And again, that's crazy, but it's true. So I think on my other haul, I showed you I bought some hazelnut coffee of a different brand than this. I don't know where I put it. I thought I brought it here, but I guess I did not. 
Okay, well, it might be here, but if it is, I don't know where it is. How about that? No, it's not here. Okay, well, anyway, I got hazelnut the last time I showed it in the other haul. And it was a different brand. I don't even know what brand this is. Okay, this is a Greenbrier product. The other coffee I got was not, but it was the same size and $1. So I've got the French vanilla, and we're going to do a taste test. I'm going to get the, they, did, they were out of my store at uh, the breakfast blend that they sell. So I want to get, I'm going to start collecting this size bags of Dollar Tree coffee, and we're going to do a taste test to see what we think of it. Because it's not a bad deal. I mean, it's six ounces, so... For bags that I would normally buy, a 12 ounce bag, I try to pay around $3.99, $4, but this would still be less. It would be $2 for the equivalent. And coffee goes stale. So what I've been doing when I buy my 16 ounce or 12 ounce bags is I open them up, I have a mason jar. I put maybe a week's worth in the mason jar and then I wrap it up real tight and put it back in the freezer and it's been keeping it fresh longer because I don't like stale coffee. And it's just me, so I don't drink a ton of coffee at a time. I just, you know, one or two cups. So, oh, this says store in the refrigerator after opening to preserve flavor. So I just am keeping it in my freezer, but so I have hazelnut, I have a French vanilla, I want to get the breakfast blend. And I know that they have a hazelnut in this blend too, so maybe I'll purchase that as well since this is a Greenbrier brand and the other one is not. And then we're going to brew up a bunch of coffee and we're going to taste it and see what we think. I think that'll be fun. Let me know if you think that would be fun. I think it would be fun. That stays down here. Now, I also picked up, which I was super excited to see, and somebody had asked me, and I don't remember her name, the t Lipton tea bags I bought if they were for iced tea size, and they are not. Those are just regular iced tea bags. But when I was in today, my Dollar Tree has the Tetley iced tea bag size so these are the bigger bags there's 12 bags in a box i grabbed two and they brew iced tea so they're bigger and the direction says bring eight cups of fresh water to a rolling boil gently pour water over two of these tea bags let it steep for three to five minutes so we're gonna see and i may stock up i like iced tea in the summer so i grabbed two for now I figure the next time I'm in, if I grab two more, that's, you know, 12 pitchers of iced tea right here. That should get me a fair amount through the summer. But I didn't think a dollar was a bad, a bad, you know, amount to pay for 12 iced tea sized tea bags. Um, I don't think I see a bet. I'm looking for a best buy date, which I need to get in a better habit of looking for that while I'm in the store. Oh, here we go. Uh, June of 19 is the best buy. I can use this by June. So I grabbed two of those. On the coffee, this is good by April of 2020, but we're going to be doing that soon. And then I think the last thing I picked up in the store, again, I got two of. I use this literally all the time. And I should have gotten more. Maybe I'll stop this weekend and get some more. But this is Himalayan pink sea salt. And this is a, I think it's a 16 ounce bag. It's fine grain Himalayan. This is what I use on those dang grinders that keep breaking on me. Oh, one pound. So these are one pound each for a dollar. It's not a bad deal. I got two. Um, the reason I use the Himalayan pink sea salt is for the minerals that it has. So there is sodium in it, um, but there's also minerals that are in here that help when you're keto. So I grabbed two, which is a good, you know, amount of salt, but I use it all, all the time. So that is my Dollar Tree haul. I'm going to be bringing you my next DIY is going to be the rustic Easter egg nest. It's a centerpiece for my dining room table. So it most likely will involve maybe a candle because I like candles. Um, I'm not sure 100% yet. There might be an, a bunny involved or not. Who knows? But that'll be my next DIY. And I hope you all have a great day. And I will talk to you later. Bye.